Hey YouTube, um, Oracle DBA girl here. Uh, basically, I just want to do a tutorial on setting up an M an SMTP server using Gmail. Uh, I just figured out how to do it using Gmail. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty neat. Um, basically, um, an SMTP server allows you to email messages uh, to whoever. Um, and being that we're using Gmail, it's free. So that's what makes it pretty awesome. Um, a user asked me if I knew how to do it, a subscriber, and at the time I didn't. But uh, I've just been playing around and I figured it out today. So I want to go ahead and upload a video on it. So we will go ahead and get started. Also, this document that you all see, I'll go ahead and upload it. I'm not sure where yet, but I'll upload it so that you all will have a copy. And as you can tell, we don't have that much to do. This is pretty straightforward and easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Okay, uh, yeah, um, for most of you all who follow me know I don't really like when people start in the middle of a tutorial. <laughs> that hurts me, but I'm going to start with installing the package, okay? So I'll go ahead and first log into my um, server, uh, and we want to log in as root. Okay, so now that we're in, we're going to do, you can do, if you're just doing this just to do it, you can use yum install postfix, um, but for most people who are doing Oracle stuff, we're going to use this one. Um, also, I do know, when I was uh, searching for how to do this, i seen so many for... Uh, Debian flavor. Didn't see any for, um, what's, I'm sorry you guys, it's late, 125, so my brain is shutting down just a little bit, but I didn't see any for Red Hat, um, Oracle Linux, so that's another reason why I wanted to do this tutorial. Um, very helpful. Um, okay, so we have this, we're gonna do Yama style Oracle, um, this package basically, and I'll say yes. Um, if you have SendMail, uh, installed, I say uninstall it because you don't need two things that do, do the same thing, but I believe when you do update, uh, SendMail automatically comes, um, as one of the packages that are downloaded. I don't think I have this one because I don't really care for SendMail. Um, I've always used Postfix. So, I would say get rid of it. Um, this right here, check config. At Postfix, we're basically just adding the service. So, we'll do that. Okay, and here I have ensure port 25 is open. So, what we'll do is we'll go to the guest system. Oh, sorry, you guys. It's pretty late. <laughs> so, uh, sign in as whoop. Okay, we're in. So you want to go to System, Administration, Firewall. Okay. All right. Um, right now. Okay, I already have it enabled. You want to enable SMTP. You can do that. That's fine. But for this, I'm just going to go ahead and do Disable. And I'm going to apply. But you all know in a production setting, you never want to do that. So, that's the disclaimer. Okay, that's done. So, we'll minimize this. And we will come here. Now, we're going to create a password file. Um, basically, we're going to put smtp.gmail.com. Uh, Gmail's uh, SMTP mail service. We're going to put that in a file, basically, with our username and password. So, what we're going to do is just copy the first beginning. And, well, we want to go ahead and type our username for the Gmail account that you already have. If you don't have a Gmail account set up, you want to go ahead and set up a Gmail account. Also, 
you want to make sure that this password is correct because if the password is not correct guess what it's not gonna work so um, this is just a test password I'm using for this video purpose I will change it back when I'm done but um, you want to put your password here um, and I think you want to do that symbol it could be the other way I'm sleepy so okay I got it right uh, and this is the file that you're creating so you just want to copy and paste it up oh, I see an error I forgot to close this off make sure you close that off if you don't it won't work alright so that's done um, what I want to do now is verify that we created this I know it's there but hey as an Oracle DBA, you just want to check everything. Okay, and we do LS minus LTR. It's there, 128, 129, so it's there. Um, and we'll just VI into it, as you can tell. The exact information that we put in there is there. So we're going to, well, we can do quit. Okay, so now that we have that out the way, we want to run this post map script this basically allow what we placed in this file to work um, to hit uh, Gmail basically so there we go now we're gonna configure uh, post fix for authentication and relaying it to uh, Gmail uh, we're already in the post fix file if you do ls minus lt well ls you will see main.cf so what we're gonna do is just copy the main.cf to main.cf.org right so then now that we have that we will go ahead and vi into main.cf once we're in main.cf we're going to do shift g to come to the bottom shift a to go to the end of the file enter 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 and i'm going to copy this copy and paste it escape colon quit well right quit alright so that's there now once that is there you want to do service post fix start just to be on the safe side I want to restart it doesn't really matter but I told you all I tend to be a little bit just meticulous sometimes um all right so that's done now let's test this bad boy out so you want to do mail i'm gonna do uh oracle dba girl at gmail.com and subject hey this is a test and for the body just testing period enter all right let me check my email and it's not there so right off the bat i can tell you i messed up somewhere not really sure could be my password let me go check yep it is definitely my password okay cuz I have L one two it should be three ones so now right quick since I retrain since I changed the password I need to run this script again uh, this one here right now the pat the the first message I sent should automatically come back to me. It didn't, so let's see. Mail. Uh, Oracle DBA girl at gmail dot com. Um, test email. Hey, just testing. Enter. All right. So let's see. Huh. Still not working. 
Normally, the only reason why it wouldn't work would be password purposes. So, check one more time. Test. That's why. You see this? Oracle DBA. <laughs> okay, so try this one more time. I'm sorry, you guys. It's late at night. I'm tired. <laughs> But I want to go ahead and get this video out the way. So we're going to run that script again. At least you all got to see some troubleshooting steps. So now it should work. Test email. Just testing. All right, let's see what happens now. See, it came just like that, right? So now that we have that, um, I will go ahead and show you all how it works with my alert log. Uh, let's go to uh, CD. I'm sorry, it's late. I am a little sort of out of it a little bit. CD home. Then admin, then scripts. So sh check alert log email dot sh. I think that's it. Yes, that's it. So it's emailing me my alert log basically. So you see this test alert log September the twenty eighth, two thousand fourteen Sunday. So if I open this up, it says test. Oh, by the way, the name of my database is test. So that's why is everything says test, but test daily alert log. I don't think I have any errors for today. Um, nope, don't really look like it, but just to make sure, because I'm not really. I don't know why this thing is slow, but you all see how it works basically. So, um. If there are any questions, just let me know. Uh, oh, there it is. Here it is. Um, no errors found. Enjoy, basically. So I'm pretty much good. Um, if you all have any questions, just let me know. I may make this video over because, yeah, I'm making this and I'm a bit tired, which wasn't good. But Oracle DBA Girl here. If you all need me, my email is oracledbagirl at gmail.com. I'm definitely going to change my email password, so it will not be the same by the time you all see this. Have a blessed night. God bless. And I will see you all next video. Bye.